As a faith community, we are called to restore hope through mission in this community and also in this world. And as we continue to walk in this journey together, we wanted to feature a couple of ways of how we are restoring hope uh, through our mission. And today we will be featuring our blood drive. As we hear the shortage of blood and the need of donations, we thought that our church can contribute to this problem by hosting a regular blood drive donation. To encourage anyone who would like to be part of this mission, we wanted to share Steve Jamison's stories of how he got involved in giving blood and the mission of saving lives. Um, I started while I was at, at, in the Corps of Cadets at Virginia Tech. Um, my father had, was hospitalized with a bleeding ulcer and lost significant amount, amount of blood on this one occasion. The blood mobile happened to be coming and I said, well, you know, that's something I can do for dad. I asked a number of my core friends if they would come give blood. Back then you could give blood in the name of a person and I would say, you know, Red, you know Lewis Jamison um, and everybody gave blood. And we were in theory replacing the blood in the blood bank uh, that had been used in dad's name. Um, so I sort of got in the habit of doing it. So I've gave blood regularly when I went to work for Appalachian Power and American Electric Power. Once a quarter, the blood mobile would come to the office and I would go down and give blood once a quarter. Did that for years. Um, and then about 13 years ago, our granddaughter, uh, who was four at the time, a beautiful little redhead girl, um, came down with leukemia, childhood leukemia. That required her to have a year's worth of chemo treatments. Uh, it would take her immune system down virtually to zero. She'd end up in the hospital. So my son and I started giving platelets. And you could inst almost instantly see the difference that administering those platelets made in the child and her immune system and, and her whole energy level popped back up. You know, today she's... 17 years, almost 17 years old, a rising junior in school, and is, it is, a, is a nationally ranked slalom water skier, still a beautiful red-headed girl, and 100% cured from the cancer that she had. But you could see the blood at work, and it was something that I could give to her, but I could know that I was a part. You know, a lot of times you'll stand around and say, well, I wish there was something that I could do. Well, there was something that I could do. So that's one way that I can give a part of me to make a difference in somebody else's life. So I've been doing this for 50 plus years. Well, I know that in the last 13 years is when they've been calculating it. I've, 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 got, I've given more than 100 units uh, because I just literally in the last month got the certificate and the, the little lapel pen that says I'm a hundred unit plus giver. I saw a reason and I could have made it a one-time event, but, but God opened my eyes to the point that I could see that not only is this something I could do for my father or my granddaughter, this is something I could do for somebody else's father or somebody's child who's been in a car wreck or somebody else's granddaughter. And instead of a one-time event, moving it into a lifelong um, purpose and I feel like that I'm making a difference. Actually giving blood only takes 8 to 12 minutes, the, the actual process. The longest thing is answering all of the questionnaires. Um, probably your total time would be 45 minutes to an hour. It's really a simple process and the people who are who are the phlebotomists who are sticking you, that's all they do. So they're really specialists at it. So it's, it's uh, it's a pretty painless process, but, but for each pint of blood that's given, you can say they can save up to three people's lives with that one pint of blood. And it's, um, it's kind of a silent way that you can know that you have helped somebody. And after you've done it the first time, you'll probably say, I don't know why I haven't done it before now. There's no big age barrier. You know, I started... Uh, giving blood when I was in college, which I was about 19 at the time then. I'm 73 now and I'm still doing it. As far as I know, it's still red, so it's still working.
we're all in this together. 